So now PA school is so competitive that one has to prove things insane. Ooh. Okay, I am trying to maintain some patience and maybe a little bit of grace for this extremely ignorant comment. Um, so I think the best way to do that would be to play devil's advocate. What if you didn't have to prove anything? For instance, what if you didn't have to prove uh, academic ability, for instance? What if they let anybody in? 1.0 GPA, no science classes ever. And then you get to PA school. And then it's the hardest, most advanced, most accelerated science-based curriculum imaginable aside from perhaps medical school, okay? That some of the smartest, best students fail and all of the smartest and best students that you've ever seen, you know, top of the line, top of the class, 4.0 students from kindergarten all the way up through freaking college, um, those people still struggle. So you get into that environment, you get into those classes. And by the way, you can't get lower than a, in my program, it was a B. In some programs, it's a C. So it's not T's and E's, it's, it's B's that you have to maintain in this insane curriculum that everybody struggles with. And you think that they should just let anybody in? And then the logical next step is, should they make it easier? Which honestly, as somebody who was, you know, went through the program, uh, I kind of wish they would because it's like unfairly accelerated, unfairly difficult. Everybody develops some sort of health or psychological or emotional condition while they're in school. And then you see them like a year later and they're totally like back to normal. They've like lost whatever weight they gained. Their skin looks better. They look happier. But like in school, everybody struggles. Everybody suffers. It just is what it is, which I don't know if you can really change that. Because then what do you do? Do you make PA school three years? Do you make it five years? May as well go to med school at that point, right? So it just is what it is. It's what you're choosing. You're choosing an extremely difficult, extremely accelerated program. And so should you make the academic standards lower? You kind of can't because otherwise people won't get through. Yeah, you do need some like track record of being able to prove yourself academically. Otherwise, they're going to accept people they don't get through. And what's the point of accepting those people? So then if the programs accept somebody and that person fails, that's not good for anybody. It's not good for the person because now they have all these student loans and nothing to show for it. Besides, they wasted their time, their effort. Uh, it's bad for the school because now their pass rate goes down. They get ranked lower. Uh, it's bad for the person that could have taken your spot that could have made it through because now that person is doing God knows what, but they're not on their way to becoming a provider like they need to be. And it sure as hell doesn't help the rest of the population because we have a provider shortage. And, you know, if you're not pumping up providers, we're not going to meet that shortage. So now people don't get care. They have to wait even longer to see their doctor, etc., etc. So I'm probably going down a rabbit hole here, but yeah, standards have to be high because otherwise people don't make it through the program. How do you maintain high standards? You have people that prove themselves academically through experience, through letters of recommendation, the whole application process. So yeah, you have to prove yourself in order to get into a career that less than 5% of people can get into for a very good reason. 